Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 25 of this Let's Play, Stellaris. This is the Utopia expansion. We are Space Prussia. In the last episode, we were just trying to work out how to save our economy, because we are still losing a lot of energy credits. And there are a couple of reforms that we can make. Uh, the main one is going to be reforming our government, which we can do at 250 influence. So we've been uh, harnessing that rather a lot. Also, we are getting a lot of minerals, an awful lot of minerals. So we could expend some of those on buying more energy absolutely and we will need to do that to keep this above 3000 to keep one of our factions happy or we can just build more battleships which sounds the more prussian to you right we're building battleships okay aha 250 marvelous let's reform the government i don't think that we really need aristocratic elite i think i'm a little bit underwhelmed by that so with that in mind I would quite like cutthroat politics because it would give us more influence. And we don't have access to anything that actually gives us more cash. Yeah, that's the one we would need. And we need to be oligarchic for it. And to be some degree of egalitarian, yeah, that's not going to happen. I mean, the other one is the uh, influence gain plus 50% if we are going to be focusing the, the uh, factions and we can get a lot more influence that way so we would have an election every 10 years I hate elections not because I hate elections I'm anti-democratic but because of the way it works in this where it steals one of your other leaders and it always kind of screws up the way everything's working though actually if we are generating a lot of influence thanks to being a democracy with a parliamentary system then we can have a lot of leaders And at that point, it actually kind of becomes useful to have the aristocratic elite. Oh, we can only do that if we're oligarchic or imperial. Okay, never mind. Edict cost would be quite good. Unity, yeah. Governing ethics. Oh, that's probably the spiritualist one. Exalted priesthood. Yeah, it must be. Meritocracy, yeah. Citizen service, we don't really need. Citizen pop happiness would be quite good, but we're not egalitarian. Not authoritarian. Well, actually, all of these are not possible because we are not those things. Nationalist zeal would be interesting. It would give us additional border range, which might well allow us to capture this system. In fact, it probably would. Environmentalist would be less consumer goods cost, meaning more mineral production. Not a huge issue right now, though. Mining guilds is just flat mineral production. Philosopher King is a better central leader. Skill 1. What does your skill 1 do? Don't know. No, I think we'll keep the aristocratic elite so we can keep the uh, leaders coming in cheaply. And this just means that we'll be using a lot of edicts and policies uh, as we'll be generating more influence now. Otherwise, everything's the same. Or we can move our capital to Darelian, which is a bigger planet. It's a mineral producer, but it would allow us to upgrade everything here one extra level. You are pretty well situated, actually. This is a decent colony. And it's a lot bigger, so we can get more stuff in here. Hmm. Tough choice. I think I'm going to go with the government reform, just because... I'll forget otherwise, quite frankly. Right, what was the one we are going for? It was cutthroat politics. Boom. All right, additional influence. Marvellous. 3.77 now. And with that, we can definitely offset the uh, cost of the 
physics policy, we could get the Grand Fleet. Although that costs double the usual one, it gets us even more naval capacity, though we don't need it because we're not currently at war. Incoming transmission. Minerals for active sensor links. Fine. Whatever. Oh, 20... Wow, we could have declared war ages ago and we should have. Although this is going to tank our energy income again. But we can just buy more energy. Fleet power is equivalent, really? I need to build more ships. Let's see if there are any... Shipbuilding governors available. They're, they're not. Disappointed! So if we were to declare on any of you, who would you bring in? You're friendly towards us, so it wouldn't be you. You would only bring in these two. You would bring in those two. As would you. So the next question becomes, from whom do we wish to have territory more? You guys are Arctic, if I remember right. Yes, you are. Velion, you are... Also Arctic. And Shaptak, you are Arctic. So you're all Arctic worlds. You do have some planets here that I could colonize. You have more. A lot more. Then yes, it's after the Valians that we need to go this time. I mean, I know that we can wipe these guys out, but eh, we'll get a lot more from this war, I think. Anyone else want to join in? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, it's only really Shabtak that we would need to worry about. 58 months until we get that. Three months until we get the Petherian power plant. So we have tons of minerals. No, I think we're just going to start expanding our fleet somewhat. And then going from there. Oh, you're doing wrong ones. Yeah, you're supposed to be a cruiser builder. Destroyer, destroyer. What is our ship balance like right now? Mostly destroyers. We definitely need more cruisers because those are the tanks. The more cruisers we have, the more damage we absorb, and the less damage we take elsewhere. Generally. Oh, technology. Yay. Tech, tech, tech. What do we get? Oh, yes. Batharian power plant. Stormfire autocannon would be nice. We don't really need the mining network because we generate so much power anyway. Uh, yeah, minerals anyway. So I think we're going to go with Stormfire Autocannon and just shoot stuff more better. Right, are there any places that produce Betharian? Because I'm pretty sure there are. I'm not seeing you. I wish it was here because we already produce a lot of energy there. It's not here. It's not here. And it's not here. You can be upgraded though and you should be. We're going to upgrade anything that we can. You should be mining network. Oh wow, we generate a lot of food. Um, I would like the happier people to be working in science so we get more technology. And the sad people can work on the farms, that's fine. We definitely don't want a sad person working there. We'll switch you two around. Oh wow, that's added another energy already. Um, here, you're a science producer. You're a minerals, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that looks good to me. And you can switch with that person. You can switch with that one. You can not switch with that one. You can switch with that one. 
And that should be plenty of bonuses for you guys. We do have more power that we can generate here. Can we get a nexus here? Do we have a nexus already? We have a nexus already. Never mind. How about here? You can definitely be switched out for something else. Like that. And upgraded. Ooh, Trav, you are not happy. Although you're actually pretty decently assigned already. I think that's probably alright. Escalia, you don't have anyone that's unhappy. And neither do you. Alright. We're building more ships, so costs are going to increase. That's to be expected. And we have actually spent most of our minerals, believe it or not. Cool. Construction Another complete. tradition. Let's grab this one, and then that one, I think. Yep. Construction complete. Okay, cool. Loads of ships being built. Our fleet is going to be expanding rather dramatically. I really want droids. Or robots. Come on. We're materialist. It should be a high chance of occurring. It's one of the tech cards. Construction complete. Alright, I think I am going to go and buy some stuff from you. No, wrong one. Construction trade complete. for energy. We will trade you 2,000 for energy twice. And there we are. Marvellous. Sitting at 5,000. Our military is massively expanding. And we're still only about at half capacity. Or thereabouts, which is pretty impressive. 21 cruisers, 5 battleships. Yeah, you're basically just going to have to be on pretty much permanent battleship production. And I might even have you producing me battleships. Your cruiser, your cruiser. I think I'm going to add a cruiser one to you as well. Like so. Twenty-four point four thousand combat strength, which is pretty nice. Pretty good. It's all right. Still generating a lot of influence, which is good. There was a leader that we were looking at, wasn't it? To see if we could get someone who is a ship thingy person. But there isn't. Construction complete. Two planets could do with a new leader. Alright, this sector is now producing us a lot of stuff. You need some investment there, buddy. And that can be arranged. You could also do with some. Construction complete. You could do with even more. complete. You are producing me a massive amount of material, so let's increase your taxes even further there, Bohemia. You need to pull more of your weight. In fact, let's make you into finance focus. Allow redevelopment of buildings. Um, yeah. And yes, I will allow you to use robots. I'll keep you in development of industry because you are producing like half of our industrial output right now. And you're on technology and you do do a lot of tech, so that is fine. Construction complete. I'll continue to invest in you if I need to and well, bollocks. Oh, it was crap. It was a scientist who died. That was annoying. Uh, computing. That is a physics tech, so hopefully we get some better physics techs for that. Though I have a feeling that's just going to be like better um, combat computers. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? 29k. That will actually make it up to 30. At which point, yeah, we dwarf you guys. And you? Still equivalent, apparently. Apparently. Minus 55 energy, though. 
Yikes. Oh, you stop building. No, 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 no. Never stop building. Eight battleships, 30 cruisers, 51 destroyers. I am feeling pretty good about that combination. How long till we get the better power? 33 months. Still a ways away in 68 until we get the autocannons. So with that in mind, how far away are you? You guys are just moving up into position. Uh, how much damage is this going to do? Are we going to go to minus 100 energy? I have a feeling we might. In which case we'll need to be producing 200 minerals to offset the cost. Um, okay, so we're going to be fighting Shabtak mostly. So I have a feeling that we should probably have our fleet positioned over here. Oh, it's 125. That's eye-watering. We're not going to have anything to respond to you anytime soon. And really, it's going to be up here where we want to take the most territory. But it's from you that I want to do the most damage. Or to you, rather. Let's wait until we have the 2,000 minerals and then we can buy the energy that we'll need. We could park the fleet in Ofang. Or here. This would be a better place to park it. Except you can't get there. Because you have to go through there. Um, that's fine. Let's have you over here then. We'll go on a bit of a, a cruise through their territories. Burning and looting as we go. Wait until the end of the month. I'll buy 2,000 minerals worth of supplies. There it is. And contacts. Trader enclave. Communicate. Trade for energy. 2,000 for 1,000. Good. Right. We want to fight these guys. Zemapuk. Oh, you've got them on your side. Oh, you're a vassal now. Okay. Anyone want in? No. So, from you... I would definitely like... Shirop. Where is Shirop? Do, 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 do. Where are you? Stirrup. And Garam? We should be able to get the most war goals from these guys because they're the ones who are actually declaring war on. Yeah, Garam. That's the capital. This is all frontier outposts, which is interesting. I'll just destroy those and then take them for myself. What about Viridian? Or what else do we want? I mean, we'll need to destroy the outpost in Teterra so we can get through there. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, say Emma? Or Zactoria? Wouldn't allow us to get through. I mean, that one we definitely need. Um, Romocus. Don't really want the capital. I think we can just uh, take some more territory from there, so... Krakatum and Sabic. Where's Krakatum? Krakatum, where are you? There you are. 38. I think we can take one more. Go for the capital? Viridian? I think we'll go for Viridian. Viridian, where are you? There you are. Oh, you're only a knight? Really? It's the capital. Where was Actoria? Oh, it's your capital. Uh, yeah, I'm not that interested in it. Okay, I like this. 47 war score. We're going to get five planets from this. We have declared Let's war. go. Let's do it. We'll need to be somewhat quick about this, because it's going to be very expensive keeping our battleships out in the field. 
Um, do we want to split off a smaller fleet to go and chase these guys down? I mean, it kind of depends on how strong they actually are. So what we may want to do is just kind of hang out somewhere where we can react more easily to people. Oh, your other transport fleet's over here. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're going to have to conquer those. Let's... Let's bring the combat fleets out of here, shall we? And bring you to... Wasat. Just to keep you safe. I think I am going to have to split you. We'll put you in half. And we'll grab... This lot, and we'll just park you in Wasat. If we need you to reinforce, we'll bring you in. And no, we're not going on fastest, we'll go on fast. Lovely. And yes, I will get a second commander for you as well. Because we have slots. Monthly hull regeneration, regeneration or experience gain. I'm going to take the experience gain. And there we go. Moving nice and quickly, thanks to our excellent engines. Faction founded. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of Space Prussia, led by Governor Baron Den Badia. They call themselves the Internal Strength Network. Their members are advocating for closed borders and non-interference with galactic affairs, so you are xenophobic. Are you the second xenophobes? The isolationists? Stalwart defense. Allowing only defensive wars will please the internal strength. Really? Minimal diplomacy. Failing to eliminate non-essential ties to foreign power, such as migration treaties, research agreements, and defensive pacts. Refugee restrictions. Failing to restrict the flow of refugees. Non-aggression packs with neighboring empires increases the strength. Non-aggression with two, non-aggression with three, and to be at peace. Staying out of large-scale galactic conflicts for ten years or more will please the internal strength network. So whose faction are you? You are xenophobic. Aren't you xenophobic too? Yeah, you are. Okay, so there are two different xenophobic factions with different needs. I have not seen that before. That's interesting. Hmm, okay. Right, let's see where their fleets are going. Oh no, there was something I was going to do here, and that was going to be destroy that. So I can take it for myself. Not seeing any of their fleets though. Hostile station engaged. That will be in here. Destroying that, I'm sure. Destroyers already Situation opening up. Log updated. Yeah, Hostile fleet detected. Fleet detected. Oh, 20,000. Interesting. You're going to have to come around here or around here. Either way, Garia is going to be a pretty good place to position our fleet. Let's move you over here. Hostile fleet detected. 20,000. You're going here. Okay. Let's go and move station up to there then. Under attack. Military station lost. Where? Oh, that was probably you attacking into here. Spaceport lost. Where are you? Are you there? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Mining station lost. How are we doing here? Have we killed this thing yet? Hostile fleet detected. They are Situation definitely updated. on their way. Twenty-four thousand ships. Okay, this is going to be an interesting fight. Are you still building me battleships? You are. Lovely. However, I can't afford any more, and we are losing a lot of money. Unsurprisingly. Uh, you are still moving. Okay, we've taken the uh, the outpost here. That was one of the main objectives of this war, and has given us a bunch more territory. Excellent. And then here, we have our 15k coming in. You should be able to take them out without too much problem. I just need to make sure that we stay Station ahead of their fleet. Construction complete. Uh, you are going to bomb us? Yeah. 
I mean, if it was just the 19,000, I might try and engage with the 14. But I don't think I really want to do that. Although, actually, let's have a look. How are your... Uh, you are entirely missiles. Pretty much. So I would have a really easy time against you, actually. Because my cruisers have got their flak batteries. And I could even retrofit the battleships with cargo, uh, with carrier hangers. This one. Even more point defense, actually. Or this one, we could get four flak and one carrier. If we wanted some serious anti-missile. No, the main one would be the cruisers with the mid mediums. I mean, we could make you just completely flak. Go for the broadside core in the middle there. You know what? It's not your job to do damage. I'm going to do that. Black batteries. Uh, shields. Capacitors. And power, apparently. There we are. Okay, super defensive. How much would that cost? <laughs> 75. Okay. Um, you're going to Garia. I'm kind of interested to see if you just stay there. If you do, then I'm just going to hang out here. Meanwhile, Wasat. Wasat is definitely where the first big conflict is going to be. Oh, you know what I can do? I can bring you guys into Port and Ofang and have you upgrading. Or Garia. We'll go to Garia. Yeah, that's not a good place to go to. Alright, so the battle here has commenced. And... They apparently have some really long-range stuff because they stripped my shields already on many of my cruisers. Point defense destroyers, pointless. Their cruisers are entirely plasma accelerators. Kind of surprised they've done that much damage. Corvettes, are you torpedoes? You are torpedoes. Yeah, I definitely need to get flak batteries for my cruisers. Although they're, they're doing alright. We're losing a couple. But nothing too dramatic. You guys are still on the way. Yeah, we're thrashing them. Situation log and they're updated. off. Marvellous. Let's bring you in and have a little looky at that. And then have you go into Wasat and repair with Ochara. I would like you to rebuild your... Sp you still have a spaceport. Why can't we upgrade here? Oh, it's because we're not in Chara. We are in Wasat. Fair enough. Wasat, you probably need Incoming a new spaceport. You do. You want minerals for terraforming liquids. Of which I have two. Fair enough. So how'd that first fight look? We lost a spaceport. It did 4,000 damage. They did 14. Second battle. We did 22 damage. They did 28 However, we destroyed half of their corvettes, but that's definitely vindicating the fact that we need to upgrade our cruisers to be anti-torpedo, because it's definitely the torpedoes that are doing the damage to us right now. So I feel entirely vindicated in my choice of upgrade. Which you are on the way to go and get. You're just trying to do some economic damage over here. Uh, that's a fairly small fleet. We could take them out. They are going after my stuff. How dare you go after my stuff? In fact, we're coming in to support. Station under attack. Evading hostile fleet. We want to try and save that if we can. Hostile it's only a 4k. Detected. And they're going to be hitting these first. So we might lost. be able to do it. It depends on whether that big 20k stack's coming in. It doesn't look like they are. Yeah, that one... I think that's going to be a world that we're actually going to lose. At least early on. 
Uh, let's bring you up to Garia and have you in position for a counterattack. Meanwhile, over here, as soon as you are able to move, which is right now, ships you are coming upgraded. in to assist them. Research okay, ships lost. have been upgraded. Let's bring you guys over this way so we can bring our fleets together to fight against those guys. Marvellous. They're still fighting? They are. And you're coming in to reinforce or to rebuild whatever it is we're losing, and they have bugged out. Disappointing. Enemy troops landing. Yeah, that's over here. I mean, we do have troops on the ground, I think. Yeah, we do. Unfortunately, theirs are a lot better because the AI is really good at micromanaging the individual attachments and armies, which I just don't bother doing because it's really micro-intensive and it's a horrible, horrible system. All right, you can get upgraded in Karim. Where are you guys? On your way. Let's get you upgraded real quick. Won't take very long, Planet and it will lost to invasion. massively increase our survivability. And then we can go after um, thingy again. Oh, Debris you got close analyzed. enough. Hmm. Ships upgraded. Be interesting to see where they go next. So we're destroying the transports really quite easily now. Situation Usually transports are hard. Alright, you get upgraded. That would be lovely. You come over here and grab those research projects, please. We got some from here. Particle plasma accelerators, proton torpedoes. Yeah, they've been focusing those torpedoes really quite heavily. And we are short on cash again. Traders. Hi. Please let me keep my factions happy. And in profit. All right. Are you upgrading? Have you upgraded? You have upgraded. You must have. Yeah, I think you have. Okay, let's bring you over here as well. Why can't I select them both? Don't know. Oh, that battleship is still trying to join that fleet. That's a little bit dangerous. Bring you up to Tetera. Bring you up here. You don't seem to want to move away, which is good. Might just be that you're extremely Station lumbering. Under attack. Let's push forwards with you. A little bit aggro. Ah, where are you going? Garia? Garia. All right, my fleets are on their way. It won't take us too long to get there. And they are all missiles. They are going to get annihilated. We will lose this. But they'll spend a little time attacking Garia. In fact, what I'm going to do then is have you guys sit on Groomium. And we'll use that as a staging ground. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do consider subscribing. And if you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.